All right, back here with Greenland turn seven. Let's go ahead and turn over the card and see what we got to deal with. Oh boy, another cooling. So let's first off this one though. A decimation if you have 12 plus. I think we're pretty much safe here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, so we only have 10 there. No one else has 12 plus. So we're actually safe on that decimation. Another global cooling event. So bog iron is going to rotate to the cold side. So there's the ring seal here. That's unfortunate here for the northern biomes. We're going to go ahead and slide this down one more again. It's getting... Um, Getting pretty cold here in Greenland. All right, so we readjust our tableau here. So now we have a little bit more. Yeah, not very many warm things left. Really much the southern side only has warm biomes left except for the new world, which will go cold next turn. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so. We did that, and then we also have an Elder Energy die-off, which is pretty fun. So, obviously, the Norse are going to pay for their one guy, because they're not going to lose their one guy again. Uh, the Tool have five energy. They don't necessarily want to spend a bunch doing that, because, again, they don't have a ton of access to energy, although they do have their Mariner now, and they may try to make a move for Markland, so maybe that's what they need to do, because they desperately need to get some energy, but they also need to get some points. I need to start thinking about getting points and victories here. Do I want to pay four energy just to keep these guys alive? I need the Tracker. I don't know if I necessarily need the War Chief. That may be less important now, so maybe I'll let the War Chief die. That's unfortunate, but that's maybe got to happen. So we're going to let the War Chief go away, and then we're just going to pay three energy total to keep those elders alive. Okay. And green can pretty much do whatever they want. Again, they don't necessarily want to take any of their hunters, unfortunately. They're kind of running out. So actually, they're going to spend almost all their energy. They have, what, four guys here? Yes, yeah, so they're going to spend half energy, not all of it. I thought we had more than that. So we'll just go ahead and pay for all of our elders, because I don't really have... A lot of surplus hunters to just uh, cycle into those spots, even though it cost me no energy, of course. I'll do that. All right. So we did that, and now we have an auction. Imported crossbow. This lets you take threes on raids to one, and hunting goes threes to one. Ooh, that's really nice. It's a real nice thing. That is less important for the Old Norse, because, of course, they're trying to accumulate ivory and iron, so... For them, getting trophies is not a big deal, although hunting would be nice. There are a lot of land animals to hunt here. Um, actually, just a couple, looks like. Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. Only, only four things left, but the polar bear is one of them, which would be nice. This would actually make fighting the polar bear a lot easier. We don't have an imported axe, um, which is unfortunate, and that's okay. They do. They could bid on it. No one else has ivory right now, so the Norse could just grab this if they wanted. I'm trying to think if that's really going to help them out, though. It kind of would, but to spend an ivory just to get an ivory is not necessarily a very good trade-off. We already have the item that lets us, like, fix Vinland, and we might need to spend an ivory on that. So I think we're not going to bid on this crossbow. I think the crossbow is just going to go up, and no one's going to bid on it. All right, looks like the Norse are up first. And then we got the old yellow. The Norse cannot decide to choose to not go first because they don't have a Viking chief, so they're going to have to deal with what they have. One thing we need to think about uh, is maybe putting a Mariner in play, because I'd like to get back to Vinland, and I kind of wonder if that's not going to be the ultimate way we start winning, because the iron every turn is very good, if we could do that. I think that's going to have to be the play. So we're going to spend one more precious energy. We're going to promote one of our unassigned guys to become a Mariner. Probably, oh, they don't have trackers, that's right, so that's going to that's gonna make, that's, that's the whole thing. If they're monotheistic, they don't have trackers. I should probably be trying to put representatives on people, but I need to have a bishop to do that, to proselytize. That's what I need to think about doing. Um, it won't happen this turn, though. I've got to slowly build up here, so I don't have many turns left, so we're going to have to really think about that. Okay, so I'm thinking the best bet is to go to Vinland and to try to get this, because I do have the old Cold Forge, so my fours do become ones. I do get to re-roll threes because of Sigrid, and uh, I think that's it, because I have a blacksmith, I could re-roll fours. So I think my, my green plan is going to be maybe to... 
just pretty much focus on Vinland, I think, now. I think we're going to have to get some guys over there and just hopefully start really uh, producing on that. So I think I'm going to send over... Oh, geez, but look, if we keep it on the... Uh, if I bring three guys over, then if we win, we still can't flip it over to the normal side and guys will just continually die. That could be rough for us. There is the Cape York meteorite up there, which would be totally worth grabbing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send over... I think it's more important for me just to get iron and stuff. So we're going to send three guys over to Vinland via our nice new mariner. We're going to take the rest of our guys and we need... Should I go for this? Should I try to go for the Beluga? Should I try to go for the Cape York Meteorite? That would be worth it. That is three points. That, and that's something I don't need necessarily trophy, but I do need that iron. So that would be two points, that iron. Or I could try to go for that Polar Bear and grab that Ivory there. Kind of tough. Ugh. I don't want to just dedicate getting everybody. I do kind of need that iron, though. That iron would be really, really nice to have. That is nice two points. So actually, I'm focusing on this. We probably need some energy. We need to focus on getting energy. I'm not so sure the, the Vinland thing is going to really pay off. Hooded Seal is still there. That's a very attractive uh, target. In fact, I may just go for that. Hmm, I could kind of split my forces if I do that, though. Although, if I go to the north, yellow can just show up and start wrecking havoc, which they might try to do. If I had more energy, I would go to the Bog Iron, but I don't have that kind of energy. Well, I guess I could try. Well, see, you also need two successes to get that, too. That's kind of rough because we are in the cold side now, and that's not going to be that easy. So I think the Norse are going to both reinforce Finland. Ooh, we should go after that polar bear, honestly. But then again, only having five rolls, I would need to get a one. I don't have any land rules. I didn't buy the stupid imported crossbow. Didn't think I needed it. Now I'm like, maybe I should have bought that just for that guy. So would I, is that worth it? Is that worth trying to roll five to get a one? That's pretty difficult to do. Five dice getting a one on there. We could be having a lot of deaths. You know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to go to the hooded seal. Try to grab it because it is on the warm side. And I probably should be splitting my forces up so I can get some nicer stuff going on. But honestly, I don't want to split it up too much because the north, uh, again, the, the, the tool have... Um, they do have a mariner. They don't have a sled, and the tunit do not have a sled either, and they don't have a mariner. They're trying to get this guy into play because they've been sort of delinquent and forgot to have their uh, shaman sort of help them do that. So I'm a little worried about competition in the north, and I don't want to lose guys as north, even though I can kind of afford to because I get one every turn from my settlement goat, but I don't want to kind of really push that. So let's stick to the Vinland strategy, and let's also try to attack on this hooded seal. What it seals just so easy to get though. I feel like I'm being kind of silly not splitting my forces up a little more. Just a little more. I don't want to get too many cubes though. But I do want the energy. So yeah, I think we're gonna well maybe that's worth taking on the beluga then. Because we could take that guy on, then we get two energy and we only need to roll one more success. Although it's the same kind of issue with the polar bear, right? I could just go for the polar bear and I just need one success as well if I bring my alpha. <sighs> What's worth it more to me? Energy is definitely worth it to me. So let's go ahead and live large and try to get this beluga. You know, I think that's going to maybe hurt us. But maybe not. Two energy is worth it, I think, to me. The risk of not being able to get this is kind of worth it. Okay, who's next? Yellow. Yellow actually has quite a few guys. And they actually have a mariner and a tracker. That's nice. Still don't really need to get this invention in play. I don't really know if I'm ever going to spend time. Because it takes an iron to do that, and I could easily do that, but I don't think I really even need it. Uh, there's just not too many. Th Although there is that Greenland shark, and that is worth a lot of points. And maybe I should start thinking about that. But damn, I need energy. I need energy too. What is yellow going to be able to do to get energy? The ring seals in the cold side again. We could go to the hooded seal. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I do have a mariner, so I could send four guys down there. Might be what I need to do. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and send four guys over to the hooded seal. Probably should try to get back on event. Oh wait, I'm. Oh, that's right. I should go to Markland. Is what I need to be doing. I need to be. I need to be kind of competing up there in Markland. That's what I need to do for energy. I don't necessarily need a bunch of guys, but more guys would be kind of helpful. 
But I can only transport four guys anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to send our four regular Joes. Although if we send them over, they could become a hunting. That could be good. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll send the Alpha so they can become a war party. Oh, do we have a war chief? Oh, we don't even have a war chief, so it doesn't even matter. So we won't send the Alpha over. There we go. We'll go ahead and send four guys onto Markland. It's going to turn hostile. It's now turned hostile. We have four guys left, and I think we will use these four to... And that includes the alpha, huh? Well, we'll go ahead and put two guys here on this old ring seal, because I can uh, probably afford to take some hits from that guy. Actually, we'll put... I mean, he kind of needs victory, too. We need to start getting some... scoop up some guys, what we kind of need to do. So trying to work off that polar bear and seeing if we can get that, that would be kind of worth it, maybe. Uh, but it's just so tough, and we're only going to have three dice to roll. A one is very difficult to do. So I think we're going to focus on the ring seal. We're just going to put everybody there. That way we can deter green from trying to think they can come over there and get it. It leaves good old green left. Not a lot for green. And green now is having to have competition at Markland. So they might start having issues here. They don't have a mariner. Or a shaman. We need a shaman. We definitely need a shaman. Because I want to domesticate this muskox. All right, but we're going to need energy to do that, so we might need to think about pushing these guys out eventually. And we could use, we could obviously use babies. We really need that, but we don't have a mariner either. Ugh. Is that worth promoting another guy? Beat me with just three people? It's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. But it would give me... And I don't get to any maritime hunting I don't do well on, but I do well on my Markland rules, so I can I can pretty much be okay there. I think I'm fairly safe in Markland to get what I need. But um yeah, we're gonna go down. Oh, I do need a mariner if I want to go south, and there's nothing here on the northern tableau that would really help me out. Oh, green's gonna go a little risky here. We're gonna install a mariner. We really need one. And we're going to take our three guys, and I guess I couldn't have gone to... Oh, no, Markland didn't have to have any guys. They, didn't, they already had those guys there. So we're going, to, we're going to take our guys, we're going to come down to the hooded seal. We're going to see if we can maybe get a little bit of food and energy that way. Okay, let's go through turn order. We do red. Red is, of course, battling the Vinland, the one guy remaining on Vinland. But, of course, the tool, since they have more iron, they get to strike first with their one guy. So they get their one roll. They do not hit. We have six cubes otherwise, so let's take six. And yeah, we killed that guy off. He's dead. Goodbye. Um, that's perfect, actually. If I well, if I get the colonists, though, then I won't be able to flip it back to its its good side. So let's take a look here. We need two successes. A lot of things kill us here, but we're gonna re rolling six dice. We do get to re-roll, or fours become ones. Let's not forget that. Fours become ones. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Fours become one. So we have one, one, one. What kills us here? Twos, threes, and sixes. So we got a bunch of stuff. That's a death. That's a death. That's actually perfect. Because that kills two guys off, but then we get the two guys back for winning that uh, hunt. So we get also two energy and two irons. So that's actually really big. They're going to have to, someone's going to have to stop uh, the Norse from being on Vinland or else this is going to knock. Oh, they don't get two iron. They just get, oh, they do. They do. What was I thinking? They get two of each. It's really nice. And I think he actually will spend an ivory to flip it over now that we've got that two iron. That's actually really big for us. Very, very big. Okay. Norse are also going to hunt here. They automatically get a success from their alpha, but they need a one off of five die rolls. That's four, five. All right, I need a one. Just looking for the old one. We don't get it. Oh wait, but we are maritime hunting and, oh, we don't have a maritime hunting bonus, only a land hunting bonus. I should have gone after that polar bear. Would have been smart, I guess, but I sure didn't. So we didn't get any successes. That was unfortunate. And so these guys get to go home. Uh, oh wait, threes kill you though, I forgot. Ooh, do I get rolling threes? I did roll one, so one three kills me, I lose a guy. Goodbye.
and Red goes home somewhat empty-handed, but obviously won a lot of victory points there. They're going to start being really tough to beat if we don't figure out a way to take away their iron or keep them off that. That actually could lead them to just having a runaway victory now that they're monotheistic. These guys might need to think about that strategy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know for sure. That's tough. Okay, now we go to the second player, Yellow. Yellow, of course, is on Markland, and they're going to battle there, so they have the most iron over... The Tunit. The Tunit just have one. Of course, they have four. Now we're going to have some ties between the Norse and the Tool. That's going to be very interesting. But um, we got four dice here coming at the attack. Ooh, we killed one. One guy goes away. And they retaliate with their three remaining warriors. And they kill a guy. So nice little even, even splitsies there. Um, yellow now is, of course, going to roll to see if they can uh, get on Markland. Of course, so can green when their turn comes up because of the nice chevron ability of Markland. So we're looking for three dice. Uh, this is a metallurgical site, so our fours become ones, if we remember that. We also get to re-roll anything. No, we don't have the ability. Oh, wait, no, what am I looking at? I'm yellow, so we don't have that tool. Oh, that's dumb. So we get to re-roll actually nothing. Oh, we do have an imported axe. So I guess on raids, that's a three becomes a one. Oh, I should have... I wonder if I rolled any threes. That actually did become technically a raid. I kind of forgot we had this axe, and the axe is like really helpful for um, raiding. <laughs> uh, but it, lets, it does let you re-roll... Sorry, I'm not focusing here. Re-rolls on sixes. So we're going to roll three dice here. We get to re-roll sixes for the old yellow. So here we go, three dice. They got success, but they got two fours as well. Oh, that doesn't kill them at all, so they're fine. So I get a colonist... And they got four energy. This is that's big. They needed that. That's four. So that's huge for them. Finally, yellows or the tool have been able to get uh, the energy they've so desperately been needing for most of the game. Now we'll go over to the ring seal. They pretty much automatically get that because no one else is going to stop them from getting it. The alpha gets the automatic hits. So they get a baby and a token. That's big. Another energy. I think they're maxed out. No, they're not. No, they just have seven. That's really nice for them to do that. And these guys go home. All right, cool. Now we just have good old green. Green's already fought here on Markland, so we're going to go ahead and roll three dice. I guess technically I should be doing all the fights at once instead of each person's turn, but I don't think I've been really screwing that up in terms of game order. But, um, yeah, sorry. Minor note. Looking for three dice. They get to turn threes into ones because they're nice imported hammer. So that's something to remember. And they also get to re-roll. Oh, that's it. So just turn threes into ones. Okay. So we got success. Did get a one. Fours don't kill, don't hurt, so that's fine. So yeah, we get another colonist and we get four energy, which is very nice. The tunit really needed that to go down that way. They need the energy pretty badly. Just spent half there, so I mean, they definitely need to get it all back. So that's four more energy for them. Okay. And they also are going to take on the Hooded Seal. Looks like they have two dice here. We have an auto success, so we are looking for just one more. We did get it. We got a two. Yay! So we get two more babies and an energy. I think we're full in energy. Yep, so we just get need two cubes. It's actually very helpful. Green was kind of hurting for cubes. There's a lot of has a lot of elders and a lot of guys in the new world, so they need to think about that. Okay, so we did all of our roll for hunts. Now we're on to again our domestic animals phase. This is also the phase I believe we can flip Vinland if we want to, and I think we will do that. So we have nothing to feed. Again, no animals need feeding because this guy's not in play yet. Um, so we're gonna get a guy for the settlement goat. Yay! We're going to pay an ivory to flip Vinland over to its non-hostile side. That may not last very long, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to do that and hopefully get some more iron. That may not have been the smartest play to actually sacrifice because it's pretty easy for them to throw another guy on there. The, the tool or the tunic could just send guys down there. I wonder if that's really worth it. Yeah, no, in fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend an ivory to do that. I need to keep the victory points if I can. So we're going to keep this place hostile. I thought about flipping it 
just don't think that's going to be really worth it because I think it's going to be too easy to flip. Otherwise, I think they'll just send guys down to flip it to make it more difficult. Okay, so that's the animals. We're not going to flip any of the lands over. So now we go to phase six, the elder action. So here we can actually do things. <laughs> Once again, we're not going to get uh, stymied here. So we're going to spend an energy with our shaman here to make the muskox domesticated. So we're going to take some of our plentiful energy. See you there. And now for muskox. All right, muskox is great. Oh, wrong way. We finally have access to a sled, and we also get two babies if we spend two energy a turn on feeding it. So that's pretty costly, but worth it, I think, as well, because they've been kind of hurting on getting hunters, so we can focus on other things now if we have at least two babies coming in every turn. They're not going to invent that because they don't have a sage, so we're not going to worry about that. And yeah, so that's the end of that. That's the end of round seven. Let's take a look at the board. Biome's getting extremely cold. We're about to start losing. Um, see, Markland will go if we get another cooling over here, and then cards will start getting removed from this part, and they'll just start disappearing uh, if we keep getting cooling on the northern row. The southern's not so bad, because we didn't hunt it out, right? We didn't take those two cards early on from the southern biome. Looks like red has uh, got a fair amount of guys. Energy and iron, they're actually really much in the lead right now. Victory points, it's two, four, six, eight, ten points. They are in the lead. Going to be tough to take down, I think. Um, the tool had, you know, they've got their forces back up and energy. Everybody's at a pretty good energy level, I think. It's really just going to come down now to getting trophies because uh, we're running out of time. We're going to be moving now to round seven. And uh, so, or I'm going to try that was round seven. What was I thinking? This has been round seven. I'm about to move to round eight, so just three rounds to go. Might be almost impossible. I don't know. The Norse might have kind of a commanding lead here. We're going to see when we come back. Turn eight of Greenland. <laughs> 